Hi guys. All right. Someone asked me to do this question quickly, so uh, let's have a look. I've got three fractions. I'm subtracting them from each other, and they are equal to 5. Now, the fact that I have an equal sign means that I'm doing an equation. What I want to do is I want to look for the lowest common denominator. So, when we're doing, when we are doing um, uh, algebra, when we're doing, um, sorry, when we're working with variables, then we would normally just multiply the bottoms. But I just want to check if we can look for a common denominator by using the multiples. So I'm going to write that out quick. Okay, so here I've written out the multiples of all of these numbers, the 2s, the 3s, and the 4s. And what I'm looking for is something that is in common. Like here I've got a 4 and a 4, but I don't have one there. So 4 doesn't count. 6 and 6 doesn't count because I need 3 of them. 20, 12, 16, 15, da, 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 da. What do I see? I see I got a 24 here. I got a 24 here, and I got a 24 there. That means that my lowest common denominator is going to be 24. On the left-hand side of my equation, I'm going to put everything over 24. Notice that this 24 is the same as 2 times 3 times 4. That gives me 24. So in order for me to um, convert each one of these fractions, I need to now say... How do I get my denominators to look the same? On my first uh, term, I've got a 2 there. I want my denominators to be 2 times 3 times 4. Since I've got a 2, I'm going to multiply by 3 times 4. So 3 times 4 is going to be 12. So I'm going to multiply by 12 over 12, which means that my first term here is going to be 12 times x minus 1. Okay, I've done the first term. Let's do the second term. Because I've got 3, I'm going to multiply by 2 times 4. 2 times 4 is 8. So this one, I'm going to multiply by 8 over 8. So my top becomes this minus sign. I'm going to bring it down. And then I bring down 8 bracket x minus 2 close bracket. Then my third one, I have got the 4, so I'm going to multiply by 2 times 3, which is 6. So I multiply by 6 over 6. This minus sign I bring down, 6 open bracket x minus 3, close the bracket. And that is going to be my top line. And on the right hand side, equals 5, I simply bring that down. So let's simplify. Our orange one then becomes... 12x minus 12, and then the blue becomes minus 8x minus times minus becomes plus. Be very careful of that. So you have to multiply that in. 8 times 2 is 16, and the purple one is minus 6x plus 18. All of that is going to be over 24. And it is equal to 5. So now we are going to simplify. I'm going to say 12 minus 8 minus 6. Minus 8 minus 6 is minus 14. So 12 minus 14 is going to be minus 2x. Check me if you agree with me. Next up, I've got positive 16. I've got positive 18 and I've got negative 12 so I'm saying 18 plus 16 is going to give me 34 minus 12 is going to give me 22 minus 22 over 24 is equal to 5 are we in agreement double check me so this was the last line we had on our previous slide now the objective is to get x by itself. I want x alone. The first thing that I'm going to do to try and do that is I'm going to try and get rid of this 24. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by 24 over 1 so that this and this cancels out. What I do on the left hand side, I do on the right hand side. Why am I writing 25? On the right hand side. 
So what I have left is on the left I have minus 2x minus 22 is equal to 5 times 24. So let's calculate that quickly. 5 times uh, 24 is going to give me 2 times 5 is 10, 4 times 5 is 20. Add that up, I get 120. 120. So on the right hand side, I have 120. Once I've got that 120, I want to get rid of this 22. Since I have minus 22, I'm going to say plus 22. That cancels out. And I do the same on the other side. So what do I have left? I have minus 2x is equal to 120 plus 22, 142. Now that I've got that, I want to get rid of this minus 2. And because it's times, I'm going to divide by minus 2. Minus and minus cancel out. 2 and 2 cancels out. I do the same on the other side, divide by minus 2. So on the left hand side I have x and that is going to be equal to plus divided by minus is minus. And then half of 142. Half of 2 is 1. Half of 40 is 20. And half of 100 is 50. So that 50 and the 20 add up to become 70. So my answer is going to be x equals minus 71. This is how you answer the question. Just a quick review. The first thing that we did was we got the common base. So we changed our denominator. And our denominator was literally saying 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 4. Then we checked each numerator by saying if I have 2, what I need is 3 times 4. 3 times 4 is 12. So I multiply by 12 over 12. If I have 3, what's left is 2 times 4, which is 8. I multiply by 8 times 8. Um, uh, if I have 4, what I have left is 2 times 3, which is 6. I multiply by 6. I multiply all the numerators, multiply them out, add like terms, and then I have got this fraction left where my like terms are added and I have 5 on the other side. Then I am going to solve for x. First I get rid of the denominator by multiplying by 24 on both sides. Then I get rid of the 22 which is a constant by adding 22 on both sides. And then I divide by minus 2 in order to get x alone. And I get x equals negative 71. So this is an unedited video. Just quickly and easily just to answer your question. I hope this helped. Bye bye.